It is out there. No. I don't know where they got that. Comic book fan before you played Clark and Superman, or honestly, I wasn't a big super uh, comic book fan, but I, I was a Superman fan because uh, Super Friends gotcha. was on uh, when I was a kid growing up, and that's sort of my first introduction to Superman. Uh, he was always the coolest because he could do everything. My, my brother liked Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna talk to the dolphin. <laughs> like I will fly up there and kick your tail. <laughs> So uh, he was my older brother, though, so it wasn't so easy to kick his tail. Um, but yeah, so we, I loved the Super Friends, and Superman was my favorite. But I wasn't a huge comic book fan. And now there's so many comic books, it's difficult. But the art and the stories, I mean, half of what we do in Hollywood is based on these comic book artists. Yes, absolutely true. Young lady. I have a question. What made you decide to be in God's Not Dead? The role you took was so... Well, as an actor, you want to play a lot of different roles. You want to do all kinds of different things and play different characters, and that's part of it. Um, Kevin Sorbo is a good friend of mine, and Kevin, he did the panel before this, right? Yeah. My panel's better, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. um, Kevin and I were the final two actors who were up for Superman. In fact, we went to network together. And uh, I had seen Kevin at the gym, an impressive fella. And uh, he was a big, strong dude, and I was like, dang, but he's got blonde hair. I, I got this, he's got blonde hair. He's uh, he went and played Hercules soon after that, but Kevin and I are great friends, and he, he produced uh, God's Not Dead, and um, we hadn't been in a project together. And um, my character in God's Not Dead, if you haven't seen it, is, is not a nice guy. Um, and uh, Not at all. It's a Christian-based film, um, and he's the only character who doesn't do anything redemptive or nice at all. Um, my son goes to a Christian high school, and all the whole high school went to watch the film, and they're all sitting there watching the film, and they're watching it, and they're watching it, and the guy turns to my son, he's like, dude, your dad's a jerk. <laughs> I cleaned it up a little for him, you know? uh, but it was, it was, it was, uh, it, doing films like that was great fun, and, uh, People always wonder if my character is the one who runs over Kevin at the end. Um, I don't think that was the case. I would have done it had I had the opportunity. But uh, I don't know if that was what it was meant to be. But it was, uh, it's a great film, and you never know. I think part of the reason that film was so successful is some of the other Christian-based films, faith-based films, kind of bang you over the head with their, their yeah. religion. And this one didn't, and I thought it was very clever. And the kid was, was, was great in it. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I, you know, it's a great, fun role to take on. And, uh, Playing, playing a villainous or bad character or whatever. How about the mom in that? Well, you did give me a shock. That's just why it was like totally, I was like, oh, Dean Cain's in this. And I was like, whoa. Oh, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, Superman, like, how could that. you? She was great. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. Yes, sir. Kent State. Sorry about that.